Ava. And I'm Alder. I'm a college student studying marine biology. And I'm also in college studying natural resources and biology. We're coming to you from one of the most fertile places on Earth, the wild and beautiful Cascade Head Biosphere Reserve on the Central Oregon coast. The Cascade Head Biosphere Reserve is a place where people can study and learn how to use and care for wild places for many years to come. This area includes the Salmon River and its estuary, dense forests, a two-mile headland covered in native coastal prairie, and an area of restricted public use called a marine reserve, where ocean scientists can study marine life without human activity. In this series, we're going to investigate the journey of a raindrop, from where it falls high up on a coastal headland, all the way down a watershed and back out to the sea. Okay, explain watershed, Ava. A watershed is a land area that channels rainfall and snowmelt through streams and rivers back to the ocean. Now let's clarify the word shed in watershed. You're not referring to a small building where you store water, right? No, in this case, shed means to flow off. Let's show an example. Pour some water in my jacket and see what happens. See how it forms those droplets and flows off my jacket? That's exactly what a watershed does, but on a much larger scale, of course. Cool! So, an investigation, huh? We'll be kind of like detectives, right? Yes, <laughs> Sherlock. We're all going to become raindrop to see detectives. And the cool part? We'll show you a watershed up close and personal at eight learning circles along the way. Can't wait! Let's go! Hold on there, detective. How do you think our raindrop got here in the first place? Most of us know that water is the basis for all life on Earth, but what you may not know is that it all starts with the sun. Light and heat energy from the sun are key forces in powering what we call the water cycle. The water cycle is described as the continuous cycling of water within the Earth and the atmosphere. Atmosphere is the envelope of gas surrounding the Earth. In short, the air. This constant movement in and out of the atmosphere is what causes all weather on Earth. We'll start tracking our raindrop on a high meadow above the sea where it falls from the sky in its liquid form as rain or in its solid form as snow or ice. As we follow it down the watershed, it will combine with other raindrops. Some will soak into the surface to become groundwater, ending up at a small spring where we'll see it bubble right out of the ground. And some will be pulled up through plants to be released through their leaves into the atmosphere as a gas. Next, we'll show you where our raindrop slows and gathers with others at a place called Lost Lake. We'll chase it through a gorge as it leaves Lost Lake and flows out into the Salmon River estuary. We'll see where it moves through a coastal wetland to the main stem of the Salmon River, where it will be joined by billions of other raindrops, flow past a giant sand spit, and out of the mouth of the Salmon River into the Pacific Ocean, where the water cycle begins all over again. Water, water everywhere. By the way, do you know why the Earth is called the water planet? Do tell. It's the only place in the known universe where water is found in liquid form. The rest of the time, it's either frozen or it's a gas. Yep, and right out there is the largest place on Earth where water, as a gas, rises into the atmosphere, the ocean. <laughs> There's a lot of moving parts out there. Indeed. As humans, we're a minority in a majority of wildness. Look at us from 300 feet up. Tell me what you see. We're just two of millions of other creatures in this picture that live here with us on planet Earth. That's a great way to understand our place in this wonderful wild world. And it's also a great reason why it's so important to respect and care for water in all of its forms. Our lives and the lives of all future generations to come depend on it. There's water moving all around us, all the time. Without water, we wouldn't be what we are today. Okay, raindrop to sea detectives, shall we begin our investigation? Yes, let's go. See you at the top of the watershed. 